Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have an essential question to answer. One that is being asked by millions of people around the world. Why does a standard health or medical insurance policies often have sublimits on pre-existing and chronic conditions? In this informative YouTube video, we delve into the complex world of health insurance policies and explore the reasons behind the common practice of imposing sublimits on pre-existing and chronic conditions. If you've ever wondered why health insurance companies limit coverage in these areas, this video will provide you with valuable insights and explanations. Before we dive into the details, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our informative content. For us to get a better grip on the subject, we need to define and differentiate these two terms, that is, pre-existing conditions and chronic conditions. Difference between pre-existing conditions and chronic conditions. 1. Pre-existing conditions. Pre-existing conditions in health insurance refer to medical conditions or illnesses that an individual has been diagnosed with or received treatment for before obtaining or renewing their health insurance policy. These conditions can vary in severity and can include chronic illnesses such as diabetes, heart disease, cancer, asthma, or mental health disorders as well as previous injuries or surgeries. 2. Chronic conditions. Chronic conditions, on the other hand, refer to long-term medical conditions or diseases and illnesses that persist for a long time, require ongoing medical care and management, and have no known cure. These conditions are often likely to reoccur even after successful treatment and can have a significant impact on a person's health and quality of life. They are generally not curable but can be managed with medical treatment and lifestyle modifications. Common examples of chronic conditions include but are not limited to diabetes, hypertension, high blood pressure, asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, heart diseases, arthritis, chronic kidney disease, depression and anxiety disorders, cancer, autoimmune diseases, than any other as may be defined by a particular policy or a particular jurisdiction. They often require frequent medical visits, prescription medications, and other healthcare services. In summary, pre-existing conditions refer to any illnesses that existed before the cover was obtained or renewed, whether chronic or acute. In contrast, chronic conditions are those illnesses that have no known cure and require long-term care and management. Having understood that, let us now look at the reason or reasons why a standard health or medical insurance policy will limit coverage for pre-existing and chronic conditions. So, why do health insurance policies limit coverage for pre-existing and chronic conditions? Let's break it down step by step. Insurance companies limit coverage of pre-existing and chronic conditions coverage by imposing sublimits, i.e. limiting the amounts that can be paid under these two conditions to a percentage of the overall inpatient limit. Sublimits in health or medical insurance are predetermined caps on specific medical expenses that usually make up for a certain percentage of the sum insured. In simple terms, a health insurance sublimits are the fine print of your policy and they can have a big impact on your out-of-pocket expenses. These use of sublimits are for several reasons, each of which is aimed at managing risk, controlling costs, and maintaining the financial stability of the insurance system. Insurance companies impose sublimits on pre-existing and chronic conditions for several reasons, each of which is aimed at managing risk, controlling costs, and maintaining the financial stability of the insurance system. Here are some of the key reasons why sublimits are commonly imposed on these conditions. 1. Risk Management 
Insurance is fundamentally about risk management. When individuals with pre-existing or chronic conditions are covered without limits, insurance companies face the potential of significant and unpredictable financial liabilities. Sublimits help mitigate this risk by capping the insurer's exposure to high medical costs associated with these conditions. 2. Affordability by imposing sublimits, insurers can offer policies at more affordable premiums to a broader range of customers. Without these limits, premiums could become prohibitively expensive for everyone due to the high costs of covering extensive pre-existing and chronic conditions. 3. Adverse Selection Without sublimits, individuals with pre-existing or chronic conditions may be more inclined to purchase insurance, while healthier individuals might opt out. This could result in an imbalanced risk pool where the insurer predominantly covers high-risk individuals, leading to unsustainable premium increases for all policyholders. For Cost Control Chronic conditions often require ongoing and costly medical treatment. Sublimits enable insurance companies to better predict and control their expenses, ensuring that they can cover necessary care while managing overall costs. This helps prevent a situation where the insurer faces financial strain or insolvency due to high medical payouts. 5. Profitability Insurance companies are businesses, and they need to generate profits to remain financially viable. Limiting coverage for pre-existing and chronic conditions is a way to strike a balance between providing essential coverage and ensuring the company's profitability. 6. Regulatory Compliance in some countries, there may be regulatory requirements that mandate coverage for pre-existing conditions under certain circumstances. However, even in such cases, insurers often use sublimits to manage costs and minimize risk while complying with the law. 7. Encouraging personal responsibility Sublimits can serve as an incentive for individuals to obtain insurance coverage while they are still healthy. This encourages personal responsibility and proactive healthcare decisions, as individuals are motivated to secure coverage before developing costly medical conditions. It's essential to understand that the approach to sublimits on pre-existing and chronic conditions can vary by country, state, or region, and may even differ among insurance providers within the same jurisdiction. While these sublimits can appear restrictive, they are typically implemented with the goal of balancing the need for affordable coverage with the insurance company's ability to manage risk and maintain financial stability. It is important to reiterate that this video discusses the pre-existing and chronic conditions coverage in a standard health insurance policies. With correct premium rating, these health insurance providers are able to offer full and unlimited coverage for these two conditions. How, then, can someone with chronic conditions optimize coverage for maximum benefits? The alternative to sublimits is case management. Even though health insurance underwriters, guided by underwriting and rating principles, tend to impose sublimits as a way of controlling costs, they have devised clever ways of helping their clients achieve chronic cover optimization by way of using case management as an alternative or complementary approach to managing chronic conditions. Case management is a proactive and coordinated strategy that focuses on improving the quality of care, controlling costs, and enhancing the overall health outcomes for individuals with chronic conditions. Here's how insurers use case management for this purpose. 1. Identification and Assessment Insurers identify policyholders with chronic conditions through claims data, health risk assessments, or physician referrals. Once identified, individuals are assessed to determine the severity and complexity of their condition. 2. Dedicated case managers 
Insurers employ dedicated case managers or contract with third-party case management companies. These professionals are often nurses or healthcare professionals trained in managing chronic conditions. They serve as the primary point of contact for the policyholder. 3. Personalized care plans. Case managers work with policyholders and their healthcare providers to develop personalized care plans tailored to the individual's specific needs and circumstances. These plans take into account the chronic condition, current health status, treatment options, and lifestyle factors. 4. Coordinated care. Case managers coordinate the various aspects of care, ensuring that policyholders receive the appropriate medical services, medications, and therapies. They facilitate communication among healthcare providers, specialists, and the policyholder. 5. Medication management. Case managers help individuals manage their medications, ensuring adherence to prescribed treatments and addressing any concerns or side effects. This can improve the effectiveness of treatment while preventing medication-related complications. 6. Health education and support. Case managers provide health education and support to policyholders, helping them understand their condition, lifestyle modifications, and self-management techniques. This empowers individuals to take an active role in their health. 7. Monitoring and follow-up. Case managers regularly monitor the policyholders' progress and track key health indicators, such as blood pressure, blood sugar levels, or weight. They also conduct follow-up assessments and adjust the care plan as needed. 8. Preventive care. In addition to managing chronic conditions, case managers emphasize preventive care to reduce the risk of complications and hospitalizations. This may include vaccinations, screenings, and lifestyle counseling. 9. Resource coordination. Case managers assist policyholders in accessing community resources and support services that can enhance their well-being, such as support groups, social services, or transportation assistance. 10. Cost containment. By actively managing chronic conditions and preventing complications, insurers aim to reduce overall healthcare costs. Effective case management can result in fewer hospitalizations, emergency room visits, and costly interventions. 11. Improved health outcomes. The ultimate goal of case management is to improve the health outcomes and quality of life for individuals with chronic conditions. This benefits both the policyholder and the insurer by promoting better health and reducing long-term health care costs. By implementing case management strategies, insurers aim to provide comprehensive and proactive support to policyholders with chronic conditions, ultimately leading to better health outcomes, enhanced patient satisfaction, and more efficient use of healthcare resources. We hope this helps explain. Let us have your questions and comments in the comments section below. We will read and attempt to answer all of the questions. See you in the next one.